You join us today at Talbot Campus, where Lord Grade, BBC Chairman and Connor Burns MP, will be taking a tour of the facilities. Hopefully we'll catch up for an interview. What are you doing now, Alex? Um, I'm trying to find a Lord. Um, excuse me, have you seen a Lord anywhere? Yeah, there's one over there. Excuse me, have you seen a Lord anywhere? A Lord? A Lord, yes. Which Lord is it? Uh, Lord Grade, I believe. Lord Grade? Yes. Okay. But... Have you seen a Lord Grade anywhere? Excuse me, um, I know you're promoting Lollipop, but have you seen a Lord anywhere? Have you seen a Lord? A Lord. A, a Lord, yes. Excuse me, sir, have you seen any Lords today? Any what, sorry? Any Lords? Lords? No, I haven't, no, no, no. sorry about that. With the TV debates in full swing, a coalition looking likely, and the election just around the corner, it was the perfect time to pose some serious political questions and ask what role the media will play in the run-up to elections. Uh, very pleased to have you both here, Lord Grade and Connor Burns, thank you very much. Uh, as a former chairman of the BBC, do you think there's more uh, the BBC should be doing to engage young people in politics? Or I don't think it's the broadcaster's job to... Uh, uh, to do anything other than report and reflect what's going on in politics. It's for the politicians themselves to inspire a uh, younger generation. I, I don't think there's a lack of uh, uh, interest in politics and kids, students want to get into politics, become part of politics. The problem is the more sort of general malaise that the youngsters who get the vote don't use their vote and I think that's that's the key test but it's not the broadcaster's job it's the politician's job to inspire people to understand how important the vote is but I mean I mean the the stats they they don't lie uh, 40% of 18 to 24s in 2001 voted, 38% in 2005. I mean, the last time 18 to 24s had a higher voting percentage than um, any of the adult categories was when my mum was born. I mean, <laughs> this is a ridiculous trend. How is it going to be mended? Well, I say, I think it's up to... People want to be inspired. Uh, people want to race. I think we've got. To, I think it'd be safe to say we've definitely got a race <laughs> in the coming election. Uh, you know, there's no the days we, we're not going through a political period at the moment where one party is dominant, uh, and the and the election is a foregone conclusion. You know, you get three or four terms of Tories, three or four terms of Labour. Uh, it's very different now. Hopefully, that will generate interest. And I think the fact that there is growing support for the non-traditional parties, new parties coming through, obviously the Greens, um, uh, UKIP, if you, if, you, if you like that sort of thing, uh, is it, fine. It's quite interesting, and I think that stimulates people's interest, that there's more, more to politics, politics than simply uh, Labour and Conservative. And, uh, Connor, I just wanted to come to you. Um, what do you think of uh, Cameron's opening gambit last night on the television debates? I shared Michael's view on these things. I, I didn't particularly want them to happen. I think the problem the Prime Minister had last night was the expectation level on him was so high and the expectation level on Ed Miliband was so low that all Ed Miliband actually had to do was walk onto the stage without falling over and deliver a couple of complete sentences, which he just about managed to do, and it was judged something of a success. I think this election, with the cynicism you've just referred to, mm. it's more important than ever that the politicians are out connecting with people on an individual basis. And can I just talk about your, your question about young people? Yeah. Young people are leaving university now with enormous debts, that they graduate into an economy that's growing and creating well-paid jobs is vitally important. How they get onto the housing market is really important too. These are intensely political things, and it's the job of myself and others who are standing for Parliament in this election to reach out and engage with young people uh, and help them to understand how important those things are and that the differences and the choice of this election is greater than it's been in a generation. That's perfect. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you. you. Photo ops complete, one thing was clear. Politicians and lords alike know this is going to be one of the toughest campaigns for the two main parties in the history of British politics. Alex Folkard, reporting from Talbot Campus.